I want to ask you a very simple question today. Are you having a tough day, a tough week, a tough year? Do you need a vent? Do you want somebody to celebrate something great going on in your life? Why not talk to God? Do you know that's what prayer is? Prayer is basically having a conversation with the God of the universe, the God that created the heavens and the earth. You know, the Lord's Prayer is, is located in two times in Scripture. It's located in the New Testament in Matthew, where Jesus is talking to a group in, in the uh, Sermon on the Mount. And it's also located in the Gospel of Luke, where Luke records Jesus telling his disciples when they were asked, how should we pray? Telling them the Lord's Prayer, this is how you should pray. And Jesus taught, say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil ones, from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, this wasn't a prayer that was set up to be, you know, this is exactly how you should pray to God every time. This was to give us an example of things we should pray about. It doesn't matter whether we're praying in private or pray, praying while we're driving. It's all talking to God, and God wants to hear from us in the good times and the bad. But we talk to God as our Father. For those who have given our lives to Christ, He is our Father. But we need Him. We need Him to deliver us from temptation that we're all going to go through. We need Him to forgive us as we help forgive other people as well. This is so important for us to notice. So as you pray today, recognize who you're praying to and how he wants to help you. I love how Mark Batterson puts that prayer is how we put the ball in God's court. He won't answer any of the prayers that we don't ask. Have a great day.